Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you uh, how to use REPL in Java. It's very interesting and uh, some of you thinking what is the REPL in Java? I mean they have heard about the REPL in other programming languages like Scala, Groovy and Python but um, it's not in Java so how to use it? Well the good news is Java 9 supports REPL. And Java 9 is in uh, in the early access uh, stage and um, you can use it I did not find any single problem when I use it and it's very very helpful uh, for who is basically learning uh, language now or or who just want to check something quick you know sometimes what happens is something comes in mind and you want to just you know very verify it but what happens is you become lazy oh no I have to open an ID I have to write us um, you know class and then method and this and that no I let's let's just you know let it be something like that but when you have kind of this REPL which is a interactive shell uh, it's a basically console where you just go and write type some commands some statements or some you know some code and it just give you instant uh, you know uh, uh, basically a res a response you instantly right yeah, as soon as you press the enter key so similarly um, Java 9 has it and you can is right now so I'm gonna show you how to do it okay so let's go to uh, Google um, and say down sorry download J JDK 9 and chip and probably on this one um, let me see yeah jigsaw and uh, let's go here so you have to accept the license it's a 144 build number right now so windows 64 for me uh, i have a windows 64 and nowadays most of the computer are 64 bit so just download this zip and i already i have already downloaded it so i'm gonna cancel it actually and um, i'm gonna jump where i have installed it so let's say um so let's do it now so cd of c uh, development sorry uh, development and tools and java jdk9 and bin so i am in bin right now so now if i say j shell here and it's gonna start a REPL so which is very interesting well so you are in a REPL now so let's say you want to see what is there inside of the REPL how I can use REPL basically nothing just say this slash and help right and it's gonna show you a lot of things which you can do so and they're gonna add a lot of uh, things uh, you know uh, probably um, they're gonna add more here because it's still not being released and it got delayed uh, I think till next year March somewhere Java is going to be released um, officially so they're gonna add a lot of things but you keep on you know um, checking what they are, they are going to add here but still there are a lot of things to learn so basically anything you want to these are the basically commands inbuilt commands which you want to run so you have to have to always say flash and then you say list so list is going to show you um, um, you know list of the source you have typed and uh, there are also you have um, what you call the, the variables I think slash verse yeah uh, which is basically list of the declare variables in their and their values so and also there are a lot of other things you have class path you have a reload and exit exit from here import uh, reset I'm gonna show you some of them right now and uh, then um, rest of the things we can try later so let's start with something let's say you want to write hello world in java so what you need to do you have to install java you have to install eclipse or any id or notepad or anything and then you have to create a class then you have to say public study void main and then you write system dot out dot print ln and hello world so it takes a lot of things but here in REPL nothing you download java 9 and you just start the REPL here and now you just type system is gonna auto complete also and uh, print ln when you uh, press tab is gonna show you what is how many methods are available inside of the out and it shows print ln as well and say hello world 
and this is awesome see it just printed hello world right let's say this is a still system outprint pattern is you know you're still writing a lot of codes there let's say you just want to write us method which is which is basically uh, let's say method name is print ln and which is going to take anything and just print it out so how to do that basically you're gonna write a method here so let's think about the java when you, you when you want to write a method in java basically what you have to do is you have to write a class and then after class inside of the class basically you're gonna write a method and then you compile it and then you use a class dot basically method name and then you use the method. So, you know it's very long right but here is so so easy and so quick let's write a method method is not returning anything void and print ln and it's going to take object basically anything obj and it's gonna print system out dot print ln and what is gonna print anything value of obj and close it and there you go the method is ready say created method print ln and object let's use it so say print ln and say null i want to pass a null and say null perfect say print ln and say one plus one actually it should say two and it is it, it did now say i want to print let's say new object and it should say some object value right yep yeah. now you say print ln and you say sum and of one plus one some of you will say two but i don't think it's gonna be say two it's gonna say um i think 11 and it did so we can verify with the system system dot out dot print ln and we're gonna say same thing here sum and sum of one plus one this is how i'm gonna test it and it's gonna say alone so very very nice let's create a variable now so let's say let's see the history what my history says right oh sorry history oh so this is my history whatever i have written it's just showing everything there list is showing all the things list um so let's say i want to print the one so one see just type one so it's just hit he just run the first one and if you want to create a method you have to just type two and you can basically these are the previously run um, commands and you know and then you can rerun them so slash and that number right now let's do another thing what you can do is la, 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 la. okay let's let's say i don't know i want to i don't want to see all those all of them so what you can do is you say reset right and everything will be reset reset and it's gone it's gone you see is you say uh, l list nothing there right nothing there so even though you say print ln print ln hello word and i'm sure you're gonna error out yes so reset is basically resetting everything whatever you have done in jshell or REPL. let's do one more thing let's try one more thing um, what is their help okay so let's try import so let's say i want to do a stream I, I hope you have used it stream in um, java 8 stream of 1 2 3 4 basically which is array and it's gonna give me an error because it doesn't find it so let's say import java dot util dot uh, where is the stream i think the stream dot stream right and i imported let's run the same command again and let's do one thing again here so it's gonna it's created a stream basically let's use the stream so what i'm gonna use this stream is i'm gonna say stream so stream has been sign to a dollar two which is a variable now so dollar two dot um, for each yes so for each number and lambda i'm using lambda, lambda expression system dot out dot print len 
and I'm gonna print all the okay so system dot out dot print ln and which print the numbers here one two three four five so now the import actually worked right before because before it gave me error here uh, here and now it's just print out all the numbers here right so which is working basically so I so this is all about the REPL guys there are many other things you can see in the REPL uh, which we can use you can use you can uh, add external jar file in class path um, you can use you can import and there are um, you know you can open file you can write the comma uh, edit the edit whatever you have written and so many things are inside and unfortunately you cannot clear here it's not gonna give you it's gonna give you error there is no command to clear but i have seen in their backlog that they have um, uh, they have a story for you know clearing the screen basically and i probably is gonna say cls or maybe clear i'm not sure but it is there so hopefully that's gonna come when it's become available for the general public and it may probably in um, you know in uh, March or March 2017 I believe and um, this is this tool is really really good and very very helpful very handy for the who learning and or who is debugging or doing something really quick so I hope this video will help you and um, yeah please stay tuned and uh, I'll record more videos on same kind of topics thanks for watching and see you again. Bye-bye.